Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review. Today we have a nice little treat as we have a new retro weapon mod and that's going to be the Sten Mark II Redux mod by another one, aka Retro Paladin, aka Glorious Warrior. Now, Retro Paladin actually did make a Sten Mark II not terribly long ago, a few months ago in fact, but this is a brand new one, a Redux in fact, with brand new animations, brand new models, and just overall a higher quality than the last one, which is super awesome. And I gotta say it was well worth the effort as this new Sten is incredible. It looks amazing. I absolutely adore the animations. It really provides the proper Sten feel. And there's some really cool attachments and different customization options over at the weapons workbench. This thing does in fact have a leveled list integration and will spawn out in the world on vendors, boss chests, and the occasional gunner. That new leveled list integration is added via a script so you don't have to worry about it conflicting with other mods. The ESP is marked as an ESL so it won't count towards your load order limit which is always really nice. And this thing also has ammo counter framework support. So if you are using Retro Paladin's ammo counter framework it does work with this mod so that you can have a nice little display on your weapon that tells you your ammo count without requiring a HUD. Pretty neat. I know a lot of you guys out there love retro weapons, especially the Sten. Before we had any options, it was a highly requested mod, and now we have a handful of Stens out there already. So let's go ahead and take this thing in-game and see why this one is very special. For starters, let's talk about a basic version of the Sten Mark II. Here we have it on screen, and as you can see, the model looks absolutely beautiful. This thing I have in fully automatic, and it has a base damage of 12, which is pretty decent for the 38 caliber rounds that it uses. It has a fire rate of 90, a range of 107, an accuracy of 72, a weight of a whopping 13.1 pounds, which is rather heavy, and a value of 153 caps but this weapon is super cool let's go ahead and check out those custom animations as there are a couple of different options as well as different firing sounds depending on which attachments you choose so for starters let's check out the animations for the basic version of the sten starting with of course the firing and reloading thing has a really nice sight picture by the way I got to say I love it and that it's angled like this is just awesome now additionally there is an alternative way that you can carry the weapon if you attach a foregrip at the weapons workbench it actually has a different set of animations and there's even some different iron sights you can choose from pretty cool stuff Now, while we're on the topic, let's talk about firing sounds. That was the unsuppressed version of the weapon, but there are, of course, custom sounds for the suppressed version as well. And I gotta say, they are mighty interesting. Definitely fitting for a low caliber weapon like this and a massive suppressor on the end of this thing. Now then, of course, we need to take this thing over to a weapons workbench to see what exactly we can do to this weapon. And there is a good bit. Starting with the receivers, we have the standard allotment you would expect at a weapons workbench for Fallout 4. We have your standard receivers up through your hardened receiver. We also have automatic, automatic armor piercing, hair trigger, powerful, hardened automatic, rapid automatic, calibrated powerful, hardened piercing receiver, and the powerful automatic giving you the highest damage possible out of the receivers with 27 in semi-automatic and 20 in fully automatic, which isn't a terrible gap, so it is definitely worth using this thing in full auto in my opinion. Then for barrels, we have the standard Mark II barrel, the Mark II integrally suppressed barrel, and the Mark V barrel. We also have some stock options with the short stock here, the standard Mark II stock, the Mark II S stock, and the Mark V wood stock, which is pretty cool. For magazines, we have the standard 20 round mag, a 32 round extended mag, and a 45 round very extended mag with a nice curvature to it. For sights, we have the standard iron sights, some glow sights, and Retro Paladin has opted for yellow as the glow color instead of green, pretty interesting. We have the Aim Point T1, the Barska, the Seymour, the Delta Point, the EOTech 552, the EXPS3, the Cobra, the Night R, the OKP7, the SRSO2, the Six Hour Romeo 3, the ACOG scope, which, blasphemous as it may be, I really like the profile of an ACOG on a Sten. It's just something about the geometry of it looks pretty neat. 
and then the Spectre DR and the Ultra Shot Reflex. Pretty cool stuff. Some modern sights for your retro weapon, but it's still pretty neat. For muzzles, we have the standard no muzzle option, the CQB compensator, the DT key one and two muzzle brakes, the heavy B muzzle brake, the KDT muzzle brake, the KX3, the Lawn Comp compensator, the Cell 9 suppressor, the Sten Mark 1 compensator, and the SUPTAC suppressor. So we have a nice mixture here of modern and retro different muzzle devices. Pretty cool. We also have an option to change out the rear iron sight for the standard ring or the cut ring, which will give you a nice little half of a ring there, which I actually prefer. It's nice and open and lets you see your target a bit more. Then we do have ammo counter options. This is only if you're actually using the ammo counter framework. So if you've used it, then you know what this is. You'll have your digital options as well as Nixie tubes and the tubular. My favorite of which is the tubular because it's nice and small and doesn't take up a whole lot of space, but still provides a nice service of showing you your ammo count. We also have damage modifiers for this weapon, so if it doesn't do enough damage in your load order, you can increase it here from 0% all the way up to 90%. And then finally, we have the grip option, which is going to change out the animations like I showed off earlier in the animation section. You have your standard grip or the vertical grip, which is attached at the front here. So completely up to you as to which you prefer. There isn't actually a stat change. It's purely whether you want the first animation or the alternative animation. And of course, now it is time for the damage test. So we can see how this weapon actually performs on the battlefield. Today, we'll be doing three tests against three different death claws. Now, typically, we would test the difference between semi and full auto. But quite frankly, if you're running this weapon in full auto, there's just something wrong with you. You got to let this thing breathe and unleash it in full auto. So we'll be testing it out in standard fully automatic, how it comes by default. And then we'll be testing it out with the fully upgraded automatic receiver. And then we'll be doing a final test with the fully upgraded automatic receiver and the maximum damage modifier at the weapons workbench, as this is a pretty weak weapon, so that damage modifier may be necessary in your game. Though it is using one of the easiest to find ammo types, so it's really up to you how you want to balance it. Now then, starting off with the standard version of this weapon against a Deathclaw, aiming for his weak point, let's see how it does. As to be expected, one magazine in and we've barely chipped away at his health. Let's see how long this takes. And there you go. Just shy of five magazines. We did it in about 99-ish bullets. That Deathclaw is down, so hopefully you have a large surplus of 38s, or you're going to need to go and upgrade this weapon. Speaking of which... Let's try that out. Here's a fully upgraded receiver with no damage modifiers. Aiming at the Deathclaw's weak point, let's see how she does. Keeping in mind that we have extended mags on this thing, it's doing much better already. And there you go, it is now down with around 51-ish shots. Much better than the original weapon, doing about double damage ish now then let's see how it does with that damage modifier my guess is we're going to take this thing down in less than a magazine especially since we have the very very large magazines on this one and i would be correct taking down this death claw in about 25 bullets so we went from almost 100 to about 50 to about 25 if you were to throw on the maximum commando perk on top of this you'd be taking down death claws in about 11 shots with damage modifiers included. So that makes this weapon pretty strong. So balance it uh, at your own risk. With that though, pretty good weapon. So yeah, guys, that is another one's Sten Mark II Redux. Definitely a really, really cool one. If you were already using the old Sten by Retro Paladin, I'd consider giving this one an upgrade or try them both out and see which one you prefer. This one definitely has some great animations and some really cool attachments over at the Weapons Workbench. Gotta love leveled list integration and, of course, the option for the ammo counter framework. Pretty cool stuff. If you want to try this mod out for yourself, it will be linked down in the description as always. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos just like this. Big shout out to all of my patrons for making videos like this possible. You guys are awesome. You can check that out down in the description below, but it is completely optional. With that, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.